which shouldn't be too complicated. Let's see. There we are. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> uh, can I turn this down just a little bit? <coughs> right on me. That's perfect. Thank you. So I wanted, I've never done this presentation before. This is kind of a new thing. And Brian, who's my archivist here, who, Brian, where are you? There is, there's Brian, ladies and gentlemen. Brian, I'm here. The, uh, young, young man who's been in my studio for just a little bit over, probably a year and a half, two years. And uh, he's very involved in, in working with me on, uh, on coordinating these slideshows and then does all, all of our archiving of the studio and much more. Anyway, so we dug this old picture up. This is the first photograph I did in a documentary class in Texas, at East Texas State University, on your, not the guy on the right. <laughs> that guy is not from Texas. We'll miss that. Uh, but the guy on the left, so I was really influenced early on. My teacher was just pushing the history of photography, and my first real connection to portraiture was our President Obama wanted to do a picture of you, a diptych of, of your front and your back. And he goes, I thought he was, is that going to make my ears look big? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think your ears are big. <laughs> anyway, I was, I was, so, so that's a portrait that I wanted to take, and, and I, but I had to think about it before I took it. It wasn't, it wasn't random. It was very, very well thought out, this picture. 